the biggest single cost to hit you after buying a new car is often overlooked, depreciation. It's the value your car loses as it gets older, and the sums involved are an awful lot more than you might think. Take this Vauxhall Astra, one of the best-selling family saloons, as an example. It costs £18,000. Let's say you bought it and did 12,000 miles a year for three years. In total, you'd spend nearly £5,000 on petrol, £405 on car tax, £504 on servicing, and now the scary bit. When you came to sell it, it would be worth £10,000 less than what you paid for it. And that's a massive wedge of money straight down the drain. Most cars, even exotic supercars, lose between 55 and 60% of their value over three years. That's why a three-year-old Aston Martin DBS can now be had for around £90,000, compared to £190,000 when new. But by buying wisely, you can protect yourself from this financial nightmare. Small, stylish cars hold their value better than most. And these five are amongst the best of all. These little beauties should be top of your list if you want to buy an affordable car that won't hit your wallet as hard when you come to sell it. Far from losing between 55 and 60% like most cars, these will lose less than half. They're all wise buys, but to find which is best, I've invented the most thorough small car challenge ever. I've got three tests. In each, the winner scores five points, while the loser will get just one. The car with the most points at the end of the challenge is our value for money small car champion. The aim here is to find out which car is the fastest to park. Three, two, one, go. Visibility, manoeuvrability and light steering are all key. The quickest time wins. I hate parking. I hate parking. Oh, there's a slot. Good stop. These little cars should be in their element. Whoa. But the Duke was hampered by poor visibility. Oh, left vanilla car, see? Anything. And the Audi's steering lock just wasn't tight enough. Oh, I don't feel like I've got much lock. I haven't got that much lock. The Volkswagen had the lightest steering. Great visibility. Light steering. But the winner, thanks to good grip off the line. A lovely getaway. Accurate steering and clear visibility is the Mini. And we're parked. Here's the leaderboard after test one. It's not looking good for the Duke. Test two is all about space. And the Mini is now the loser. Its boot is smaller than even the tiny Volkswagen Ups. The Audi A1 is pipped into second place by our winner, the Citroen DS3. If you want to save cash and have space, it's our top choice. The practicality results make it a tie at the top. Everything rests on my favourite test of all. Which is fastest around my rooftop auto test course? Up first is the Duke, the most powerful car here. Go. Oh, the wheel spin. Whoa. Oh, 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 you big. Whoa, How about the handbrake? Will the handbrake work? Oh, yes. Oh, oh. oh, wheel spin. Now turning left. Not so easy for the billet Stop. Oh. seconds. Next, the DS3. It's the most frugal car of my five. Oh, Lovely looking steering wheel, but I don't like the flat bits of the bottom. The diesel's not picking up as well. Oh, mind the curves that were understeer. Oh, bah. and stop. Ow. Oh, hit <laughs> the throttle as well as the brake then. Sorry. 
Third is the VW Up. At just £9,000, it's the cheapest of my group. No, it falls down. Falls down. Oh, revving away, it's back to me. Can all be here. Handbrake. Not the sharpest of handbrakes either. Oh, full lock understeer. Down the dip. <laughs> I think it's struggling. 25.6 seconds. It is struggling. Next, the Audi with its turbocharged 1.2 litre petrol. One, Take off, it's got a nice tall first gear, so no rev problems. Steering wheel is round, I'm enjoying this so far. Oh, not that snappy, but we got it swinging in the end. A little bit of understeer. This feels best of all so far. Stop the clock. Finally, the Mini Cooper D, the priciest car here. Two, one, go. Oh, great start, lots of wheel spin. Just running out of power a bit at the high revs, turning. <laughs> this feels light, nimble. Handbrake. Yes. Scorch, you back the other way. Bit of understeer, mind the curb, deep through the bump. Good, takes the bump well and stop the clock. Wow! My depreciation busting small car challenges end with a shock result. The Mini, which I expected to win the performance test, is pipped into second place, four tenths behind the Audi. The wooden spoon goes to the underpowered Volkswagen Up. The final results are in. Well, it may not be the easiest car to park, but second best for luggage space and fastest on our auto test, the winner has to be the Audi A1. All right, we'll so all get ready then. Are you ready, Victoria? Yeah, be Johnny, nice, be nice, Johnny. Three, two, oh, one, oh, hit three. it! Harder! There we go, ABS coming in. I felt good Yeah, stuff. that was all right. Yeah. Hazards yeah. came on. Oh! oh! That's not better than mine. It is, because it's, it's a smaller gap. It is, yeah, but it's, it's not bad. bad. Secretly in my mind, was the desire to keep going until one of us bent the car. That's, that's me, Ray.